never before heard backpacking secret. Things that I do on probably almost every single backpacking trip I go on that I don't necessarily really talk about a ton. Some of these are personal things I do that, I don't know, just, I guess just don't really fit into the normal scope of YouTube videos that I make. Now, if you've ever been out on a backpacking trip at some point, I'm sure you can relate to this one. Picture yourself, you know, getting to camp and say you're sitting around a fire having a good time and then say you got to go pee or you decide you know what I'm gonna get up and just go to bed you get up and you walk away from that fire or wherever you're sitting you realize like holy crap it's dark outside you know you're fumbling around through all of your stuff and you're trying to find your headlamp and that was me for many years uh, fumbling around trying to find my headlamp until I started doing a very very simple thing as soon as I got to camp and that is just take my headlamp, pop it around my neck, and then I just tuck it into my shirt just like that. I know that when I do this, I'm not gonna be fumbling around trying to find my headlamp later on. Uh, you don't really even notice it tucked underneath my shirt. It's just kind of one of those things that I do that makes life just a little bit easier for me when I'm out there on trail. And now that I've got my headlamp taken away, I can safely get to bed. And when I'm in bed, it's kind of the next little thing that I do on every backpacking trip. I never leave my shelter to go pee at night when I'm out in the backcountry. I always used an MSR Hubba Hubba tent, and I use that just for myself. Uh, it's a nice two-person tent. It's got a vestibule on either side. The vestibule on the side that I was using as my door would always have my gear and anything I wanted to keep dry underneath there. And the other vestibule is where I would go pee. It would just kind of roll to the side, unzip the bottom, and I hang myself out into the vestibule and I would just pee into the vestibule. When I started backpacking with my dogs and I was taking them in the tent with me is when I transitioned to using a pee bottle. I will always grab myself a Gatorade and I will usually drink that Gatorade on the first day of my trip. It just kind of, you know, nice little treat when I'm out there hiking, but that Gatorade bottle becomes my pee bottle at night. So it's the same for when I'm in my hammock. You know, I, I've mastered the pee bottle in the hammock. I have no issues with it at all. And if I'm out without Wanda with me and I don't have the pet palace, I will actually just uh, put my gear to one side, the same side that I'm getting in and out of the hammock. And then the other side, same as like having two vestibules in a tent, I will just do the uh, hang myself out the side of the hammock and just pee on the ground that way. It's just, uh, just something I do. Yeah, I'm lazy. The third one is something that I only do if I'm out backpacking solo by myself and that is uh, sit around naked. Obviously, I don't do this when I'm out backpacking with my friends. I just think that would probably be a pretty awkward situation for all parties involved. Uh, if I'm out on a solo backpacking trip, it is not uncommon at all for me to, at some point during my lunch break or in the evening, wherever I'm set up to camp, to just park my naked ass down in a stream or in a lake or wherever. Uh, I just enjoy sitting around naked sometimes when I'm all backpacking by myself. I guess if you end up stumbling upon me in the backcountry, that sucks for you, but uh, something that I do, it's something I'm gonna continue to do. Sometimes just sitting around naked in a gorgeous place is an awesome thing to do, okay? See, we have a list. This is how I know what I'm talking about in these videos. I write down a list. Uh, from time to time, I enjoy having a little puff of cannabis when I'm out there on trail. I've never really hidden that fact. Uh, I, I'm pretty open about the fact that I enjoy cannabis from time to time. One of those things that really irritates me out on the trail, and that's just when people like overdo it with their trail indulgence. I, I don't like backpacking with people that just get like loser high the entire time where like they can't, you know, complete a sentence. I also really, really can't stand backpacking with people that just get annihilated drunk as soon as you get to camp. That's just not my scene. Uh, drunk people just really irritate me. And yeah, it's just not something that I do. According to my list, we're at number five. And the fifth one is at some point on every backpacking trip, I inevitably kind of hit that point where like all the noise up top just kind of shuts off. And, and when I hit that moment, honestly, I usually tend to just stop and just kind of just soak it all in. And I just like completely let myself be in that moment. And uh, my, my friends who hike with me will attest to this. Uh, there's just this like really deep, like guttural, thing that escapes me it's usually like just like a massive woo. Woo! woo woo i don't get called the rick flair of the backcountry for nothing woo! i don't know if what it is it's just like a release i guess when i'm out there but uh it, it just hits me it's just one of my things uh, I've, I've tried to catch it on video but uh it's just like one of those in the moment things you know and it just kind of happens to me when i'm out there there's one side of hiking that it's like it's awesome you get to go to like amazing places and backpacking gear is cool and it's, and it's fun to like tinker around with and nerd out about backpacking gear but there's another side of it where backpacking is just like 
a huge source of mental clarity and backpacking really, really helps me. And I know it helps a lot of other people with their mental health. And uh, that's just one of those things I've come to realize and I've come to just accept in my life that, you know, backpacking is a big release for me and it's just a big way to keep myself balanced. And uh, when, I, when I get that, that mental clarity and just get that like sense of balance back, it uh, kind of like sweeps over me. And like I said, it's like a, just a deep guttural thing. Uh, just, uh, it happens, uh, yeah. And my next secret is besides doing backpacking videos on YouTube, I'm also a psychic and I can read your mind. And I am very, very confident saying you will enjoy either of these videos right here. So this video is over. You may as well check out either one of those. I'm sure you're going to enjoy either one or both. But uh, as always, I'm Maddie. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.